Are you ready? One, two, three. Great job, man. That's good. That's good. These are moments to cherish, sitting on the dock of a lake, teaching his nephews how to fish. Just pick him up. Find the collar right there. And even though Dr. Woody Myers could have chosen to retire after a successful career, he has too much left to do and no time to waste in his race to serve as Indiana's next governor. The most important motivation that I have is that I have been given so much uh, over the last uh, three, four decades, uh, a, a great education, an opportunity to contribute, a terrific family. So Dr. Myers, born and raised in Indiana, is committed to giving back because of his love for Hoosiers, much like his love for his family. I want them all to be my family so that uh, by collaborating, by learning from each other, by working together, we can lift everyone up. And, and that's what's missing in Indiana today, the spirit of lifting everyone. Governor Holcomb is uh, following the legacy that was set by Mike Pence, and that is one of helping those at the top. That is not what Linda Lawson and I want. We want everyone to do well. Let's go get a cookie upstairs. Linda Lawson is Dr. Meyer's running mate, a former 20-year state representative and a trailblazer, the first woman to lead a caucus in the Indiana House as minority leader. They will fight for working families, fight for living wages, fight for Hoosiers who are hurting now even more due to COVID-19. Some are hurting for the opportunities to move forward with their career. Some are hurting uh, acutely today because they don't have the funds to pay the rent or feed their families. And, and some are hurting in, in spirit. Uh, they just don't feel the optimism. They just don't see the future that they'd like in our state. So we've got to attack all of those problems uh, in, uh, differently and efficiently and effectively as the new leaders uh, of our state. And that's what Dr. Myers has been doing his whole life, leading. He is the first African-American candidate for governor in Indiana's history. He was the first African-American state health commissioner in Indiana. And in that role, he was one of the most influential health experts in the early days of another pandemic, AIDS. Dr. Myers stood up for Indiana teen Ryan White before he died of AIDS in 1990, helping him win his fight to attend school. We used our forum to show Indiana that he was not the threat that some people made him out to be. I had him sit next to me. I scruffed his hair uh, during the press conference just so people could see that he was not someone that we should fear. Ryan and his mom, Jeannie, moved to a new school district that welcomed him with open arms. It was the most incredible thing I had ever seen, and it changed the face of AIDS education in Indiana and then ultimately in the, in the nation. As a medical doctor, a professor, a former healthcare CEO, and a small business owner, Dr. Myers is driven to seek solutions to problems, to stand up for people, to take on tough challenges. That's why I became an ICU physician, because that's where the sickest patients in the hospital were. That's where I wanted to be. His commitment to tackling tough challenges was birthed in a modest house on the Indianapolis near Northeast side, which his father, a hardworking landscape contractor, helped build. A childhood home that still stands today. And a federal judge appointed his mother, a teacher and a principal, to lead complex school integration efforts for IPS. She faced racism head on. The anger that was directed at her uh, made that job much harder than it needed to be, but she stood tall. Uh, she didn't waver, and uh, I learned from that. As a boy, he learned that the color of his skin could trigger discrimination. I've been accused falsely twice as a kid of theft, of something I never did, uh, just because someone looked at me and made an assumption about me. I know that kids are going through that every single day. I only had a gun pointed at me in anger once, and I didn't get shot. No justice, no peace! No Today's justice. racial unrest in the wake of George Floyd's death is a stark reminder that racial inequalities can still 
threaten lives and threaten children's future. There is an energy in America to move beyond our disgraceful racial past. At an Indianapolis protest, Dr. Myers and Linda Lawson listened and learned. I believe I can bridge the gaps, uh, and it's all about leadership. We've got to make economic opportunity equally available. We've got to improve the dysfunctional K through 12 education systems, especially in districts where there are larger numbers of kids of color. There you go, pick him up. There you go, pick him up. Dr. Myers teaches and models life lessons to children in his family as an uncle, a father, and a grandfather. Bingo! Good job. I'm proud of you, dude. His family has watched him stand tall, never waver, combating racism through education, graduating from Harvard Medical School and Stanford University with an MBA. And he will fight for a good education and equal opportunities for children in his family and for all Hoosier children as if they are his own. What we have to do is to realize that not all Hoosiers are being treated fairly today. We've got to recognize those deficiencies, we've got to diagnose them, and we've got to change them. Indiana could use a doctor in the state house to heal racial wounds, to take on tough challenges, to put people over politics. We're seeing concerns, angst, anger all over this nation, and I think people are ready for a change.